Hello, thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to celebrate the 100th birthday of the Consolidation Class Steam Locomotive number 555 that now resides at the Galveston Railroad Museum. She was originally known as Magma number 5 and we're going to follow the path she took to get to the Railroad Museum. Magma number no. 5 was built in 1922 at American Locomotive Company in Dunkirk, New York. The facility was formerly operated as Brooks Locomotive Works until merging with Alco in 1901. The number no. 5 was delivered to the Magma Arizona Railroad in December of 1922. She would be the only locomotive that the railroad ever purchased new. She would go on to operate for 46 years on the Magma Arizona Railroad hauling copper ore to the Union Pacific Main Line in Magma. The railroad would branch out to mines at Superior, Florence, and Queens Creek for a total of 30.2 miles. In her later days in Arizona, she was noticed by television and movie producers. She would star in several TV commercials, TV shows, and Hollywood movies. Two of the movies filmed there in Arizona were Young Billy Young and powder keg. We'll get back to those later with some video clips. In 1970 she was sold to the Oregon Pacific and Eastern Railway. The Oregon Pacific and Eastern Railway had its origins in 1904 to serve gold, silver, copper, zinc, and lead mines of the mid-coastal Oregon's Willamette River Valley. In 1925, the OPE was the setting for The General, a silent movie classic starring Buster Keaton. In 1972, Magma No. 5 played a dual role in the motion picture Emperor of the North Pole. Though she was not the primary locomotive used for the train scenes, she did play the other two locomotives. Due to some confusion over the title of the Emperor of the North Pole, the name was shortened to just the Emperor of the North. Some people thought they were going to go see a movie about the Arctic or a holiday movie. This movie is obviously neither one. There's an old hobo phrase that if you're the emperor of the North Pole, you're the emperor of nothing. The movie was filmed on the OPE. In 1978, number five, along with many other pieces of rolling stock, would be sold to the Galveston Railroad Museum. These images come courtesy of Don Harper. They depict the museum train as it's leaving Oregon and headed for Texas. After her arrival in Galveston, her name was changed to the Center for Transportation and Commerce number 555. Her bell would be moved to just behind the front sand dome, and the rear sand dome was removed completely. After many years of hauling excursions around the museum, her boiler was in need of some major repairs. A deal was made wherein the Shea locomotive would be loaned to Texas City in exchange for boiler repairs. Even though the Shea was on display at Noble Park for many years, 
The deal was never honored, and the boiler on number five has remained cold. This footage by Bobby Kosar shows number five pulling excursions on the island. Now let's check out some movie clips featuring Magma Number no. 5. Powder Keg was a made-for-TV movie that was filmed in Arizona. It also served as a pilot for a TV series called Bearcats. It only lasted about 13 episodes. Our heroes drove a Stutz Bearcat and for the price of a blank check, they could solve any problem that you have.
Young Billy Young was also filmed in Arizona. And they were using a 20th century locomotive and they tried to dress it up to look like a 19th century locomotive. Check out the fake smokestack and the fake cow catcher just laid up on the front of the actual cow catcher. There was a time when the smoke boxes on the uh, Magma Arizona Railroad's steam locomotives were painted this copper color. of the North Pole, or the Emperor of the North, was filmed in Oregon at the Oregon Pacific Eastern Railway. Here she comes out of the fog.
What the hell are you doing? Teasing you. Why? I'm still working on that. In her second appearance in the same movie, she's sporting a new paint job. For. Everything's okay, folks. Just okay. stay on the train. We won't be here long. All right, everybody back in your seats. Mr. Collins, we've got a schedule to keep. They greased the rails, the goddamn tramps. I don't give a damn if they're Democrats. Get this moving. Give us hand. Get back in your seats there. We'll be moving right along. She had a little short role in the life and times of Judge Roy Bean, sporting another fake cowcatcher. The wheels dried up. The wind blew the ashes away and sand covered the scars. The desert reclaimed its own. 